Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about comparator. Comparator is nothing but it, a, it is a digital logic circuit which is used to compare two input bits. Two input bits means A is a bit, B is a bit, then we can compare A and B so that it will give you three different outputs either it may be less than or greater than or equal to. Okay, so comparator is a digital circuit. It is a digital circuit used to compare used to compare two input bits two input bits okay suppose if it compares only one bit then it may be called as one bit comparator if it compares two bit then it is called as two bit comparator like that depending upon the number of bits in the input data input numbers then we can call it as n bit comparator <coughs> so one bit comparator is available one bit comparator two bit comparator four bit comparator 8 bit comparator so like that we are having n bit comparator n bit comparator so simply it is a comparator compares two bits of information a b here a is a single bit b is a single bit <coughs> and gives three different outputs one is a less than b and second one is a equal to b and third one is a greater than b okay these are the three possible combinations that we can encounter when we are comparing two bits a and b so the outputs are the outputs are a is less than a is less than b a is equal to b and the third one is a is greater than a is greater than b a is greater than b suppose if you are taking the truth table truth table for one bit comparator truth table for one bit comparator one bit comparator so one bit comparator is nothing but normal we are having two bits so a b so a is one bit b is another bit so zero zero let us consider those four combinations and these are the outputs a less than b a equal to b and the last condition is a greater than b so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now a and b are the two inputs of this comparator so a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 this is the first case then what happens these two are equal so as these two are equal the equality condition gives active high and the remaining two are low levels okay high pin is connected to a equal to b because a and b are having the same information and coming to a equal to 0 b equal to 1 generally in digital formats 0 means 0 means 0 volts and 1 means plus 5 volts okay generally in the digital communication when we are using 0 and 1 0 is a logic 0, 1 is a logic 1. That logic 0 is having a potential of 0 volts. And logic 1 has a potential of 1 volt. Okay, that's why when we are taking the logic levels, this is the logic level generally we represent. And this is the represented logic level for high level. And this is the represented logic level for low level. So we generally consider this high level as 5 volts and this low level as 0 volts that's why 
when a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1, means a now is having 0 volts potential and b is now having 5 volts potential. That's why a it is less than b. a is less than b and these two conditions are false. And a is 1, b is 0 which says based on the previous explanation it is nothing but a greater than b. So keep 1 in the a greater than b and the remaining two are simply zeros. <coughs> Coming to a equal to 1, b equal to 1. a equal to 1, b equal to 1 means both are having the same potential like this. So it is 1 and the remaining two cases are zeros. Remaining two cases are zeros. So now if you are saying what is the expression for a less than b? What is the expression for a less than b? What is the equality condition? What is the greater than condition for one bit comparator? Then you can directly simply uh, write the expression without using kmap. Of course, we can draw this because it is having only less number of ones and zeros here. <laughs> so for for a less than b, a less than b. The expression is C A X than B is obtained A 1 is here. This is nothing but A bar B. A bar B. So it is A bar B. And similarly for A greater than B. A greater than B. So A greater than B is obtained again at the position 1 where it is A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. Simply it is A B bar a b bar this is for a greater than b a greater than b so this one is completed and this one is completed now coming to these two this state and this state where we are having a equal to b can occur in two different positions when a and b are zeros and when a and b are ones so for if you observe clearly a equal to b a equal to b so gives you a bar b bar plus a b so a bar b bar plus a b will be equal to the x nor operation x nor operation which is the complement of x or operation which is the complement of x or operation or we can say it is the x nor operation okay so XNR is there between A and B to say the comparison, nothing but equality comparison. So this is the equality condition occurred due to, uh, by, by using this XNR gate. We can design this equality operator. Okay. So if you just draw, if you try to draw the logic circuit for the same, We'll draw in the next. The logic circuit. <coughs> for. One bit comparator. The logic circuit. For one bit comparator. Consists of. Consists of what we have. And not get. Not gates because without not gate these complements will not come and and gates and gates so it is a bar b it is a b bar so we need two and gates here and of course it is nothing but x nor gate x nor gate so if you take all these together then you will get the logic circuit for One bit comparator so here a less than b a less than b is having a what is that a less than b is nothing but a bar b so a bar b a is <coughs> a is the complemented form so it is a and b so a less than b 
and a equal to b consists of xnr operation xnr xr followed by dot so a equal to b and both are true forms we are giving a b and the third one is again and gate again and gate where a greater than b which is which is nothing but a b bar a b bar a greater than b so a it comes from this one a and b bar is like this okay so this is the logic circuit simple logic circuit for one bit comparator so logic circuit for one bit comparator one bit comparator processor is common processor is common if you go to the two bit comparator then again first you need to take the truth table and then expressions and then logic circuit okay thank you